Hey guys, Gathering the Magic back again. Another daily rewards claim. Uh, one day, tomorrow is the end of season. So, it's exciting time. I always love opening tons of chests at end of season. We have four gold chests to open. So let's see if we get something good. Like I said, I haven't been collecting gold chests hardly at all. So, I was excited to see if I could get something really good out of these. Be nice to get a ton of merits again or a large amount of SPS. Okay, we're starting with half of an SPS, nine potions, 12 potions, and six potions. So, exactly what I didn't want to see tons of potions and just a little bit of SPS. I mean, for gold, that's really disappointing. So, let's see what our focus is. And I do have a Gladius pack that I can open. Guild Brawls ended for us yesterday. Stealth. Okay. So let's go to Guild. Go to Building. Visit the store. And we have enough to purchase a Gladius case. These are always fun to open. Just like a regular pack, five cards, you're guaranteed at least one rare. And there's no boosts, at least at lower levels, to get chances for gold or legendaries. Now there are stones that you can get at higher level guilds, but we're not quite there yet. Okay, it looks like I got a couple rares, so that's cool. Got Crash. I really like that Witch. The Death Splinter. Sarius. All right, so let's see. I don't know if I can combine any of my Gladius cards. There's my gold. I have three gold cards. And can we combine any of these? So if it's level one, I'm looking for a five. So I need one more of those. One more of those. Ah, I need one more of the witch. That's the one I was hoping to combine. So, these are already level 2. That one's already level 2. Yep, nothing to combine. Let's go and claim. Oh, not quite enough. I have to get a little bit more SPS to be able to claim it for um, my ranked rewards. But I can claim for the staking. Voucher price had a nice uptick yesterday that I noticed, and I think what I'm going to do, at least short term, is I'm going to combine my, or swap my SPS for some vouchers before we get the big spike in a week when Rift Watcher presale goes live. So, don't have many vouchers, but I'll pick up a couple, and when the price spikes, I'll... Uh, I don't know, I'm still debating whether I want to get... Rift Watchers or not, as far as spending vouchers in SPS, or just buy them off of 5. Okay, so now check the second account. I mean, Rift Watchers is so tempting. Okay, so we have 10 chests to collect here, 58 for the season. Almost exactly one day left. 10 a.m., at least 10 a.m. for me tomorrow which is right around the time I'm doing this video. Okay, Fraction of SPS, Pelicor Mercenary, Pelicor Bandit, Pelicor Conjurer. So, three cards there is nice. Fractions, small fractions of SPS. So not too bad, only two potions, three cards, but very little amount of SPS. And it's going to take me a while on my last two accounts to get up 5 SPS to be able to claim. You know, if, of course, we do have all the season chests to open tomorrow. So hopefully, with all those season chests, we can get this up to 5. So I need a little over 3 to be able to do that. So the focus is water. That's a good focus. And now for my final account... have 10 chests and I finally decided I am going I rented just enough to get to silver three 
And the only reason I'm doing that is so that next season, I'm going to still play in bronze, but I want to earn a few silver chests for the following season to at least have the slightest chance of getting a pack. Because this account really needs a pack to get uh, some summoners and just to get some cards in general. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if that was a good decision or not. Um, next season I'll probably have under 20 chests, but they will be higher tier and better chance. So we'll see how that goes. Because I'm starting to really run out of credits on this account. Kind of a gamble, but you got to take gambles sometimes. So let's see what's in these 10 bronze chests. Hopefully we get at least two or three cards. It's loading all my legendaries right now as we speak. That's why it's taking so long. Okay. Starting with a Pelicor Deceiver. Nice. Got a card. Couple potions. Fraction of SPS. Another small SPS. There we go. A Crystal Smith. Nice card. Another Deceiver. Heat Smith. Okay, very good. I'll take four cards out of ten every day for a bronze account. Let's see what our focus is. Oh, and I want to say thank you to everyone that left comments on my video yesterday, on my land video. Um, I tried to cover as much as I can could in that video, but I know there's a lot more to discuss. Um, I'm probably going to do a part two where I go more into the buildings and the totem aspect of land. So I'll be working on that in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. But thank you very much for all the positive feedback and for all the comments. And once again, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. And let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts on Rift Watchers? Are you guys planning on... Um, buying Rift Watchers with SPS and vouchers? Are you just going to buy them off of Hive? Uh, how many packs are you looking to get? Uh, for me personally, I think if I purchase any, it's not going to be very many. It's probably going to be 20 or 25. And I don't know if I'm going to open them. I think I might just save them because I think they're going to appreciate in value pretty quickly once they sell out. But let me know what your thoughts are on Rift Watchers and just anything Splinterlands related. Thanks for watching everyone and happy grinding. I will see you tomorrow. Take care.